Welcome to SAP Business One Release 9.2 Patch Level 4 Highlights. Today we're going to cover two key highlights that are available with Patch Level 4. Understanding your customer's history with your organization and their buying behavior will help you to improve business relationships with your customers, focusing on customer retention and ultimately driving sales growth. In SAP Business One 9.2 Patch Level 4, Using sophisticated algorithms, customers are grouped based on similar buying behaviours, which will allow the system to make specific customer recommendations. So within a sales order, a new side tab called Recommendation is now available, which captures the buying history and a calculator that summates the purchasing history for specific items. So let's have a look at that Recommendation tab. We'll simply navigate to Sales Order using the Lookup menu. And from here, we're going to select our customer C9000, which is Vowels and Pipe Inc. On the sidebar, we're now going to select the Recommendations tab. From here, you can see under Recommendations for this customer, a number of items. You can easily add the recommended items to your sales order from directly within the Sales Recommendation tab. So from here, we can add the motherboard. We can also add, for example, the rainbow printer. To complement this, the section below, called Customers Who Bought This Item Also Bought, offers an insight into what other customers have purchased with similar buying behaviours and recommends these items for your customer as well. So I'm going to include one of these items to my list. From here, we can then simply add the sales order to the system. This works using a back-end service that performs regular batch runs, capturing updated data based on customer buying habits, and this is reflected in the Recommendations tab. To simply activate this feature, we need to navigate to the General Settings window under Administration. Under Display tab, you need to ensure that the Enable sidebar in Windows to Display Linked dashboards is ticked. Another key feature with SAP Business One 9.2 Patch Level 4 is the Customer 360 Advanced Dashboard. Customers want to use better data analysis to get a more comprehensive understanding of their customers. The 360-degree customer view allows companies to get a complete view of customers by aggregating data from the various touch points that a customer may use to contact a company to purchase products and receive service and support. SAP Business One 9.2 Patch Level 4 has pre-delivered an advanced Customer 360 dashboard. To access this, we simply navigate to the Business Partner Master Data window. So we're going to drill down onto our customer. We simply select You Can Also, and we have the option View Customer 360. This will launch the Pervasive Analytics dashboard tailored for this customer. The dashboard features key sales, logistics, receivables and general information. Under general information, you have a display of the overview of total sales, gross profit and revenue trends, for example. You also have what's called the churn probability. Using predictive analysis, this will determine in percentage terms the probability of actually losing this customer. If we go to the sales tab, it highlights top selling items, for example, any open quotations and sales orders for this customer. Under logistics, you can quickly view on time delivery rates, average fulfillment days and customer returns, including the number of open deliveries and corresponding purchase amounts of these deliveries. We can even view a snapshot of the customer receivables, highlighting deviations from credit limits, total amounts received, overdue and ageing of receivables. If you need to customise these dashboards, you can simply duplicate the dashboard and customise it based on your business needs. Another way to access the Customer 360 is by linking this advanced dashboard as an action to an existing dashboard. To simply do this, we select Pervasive Analytics, we're then going to select the dashboard top five customers by receivables. 
and then we're going to define an action against this dashboard. Under actions to be triggered, we then define an action name, open customer 360, and from here, the action will be to open an advanced dashboard. We then select the advanced dashboard that we want to open, customer 360, and then we define our dashboard dimension, which will be based on customer code and business partner code. Once we've defined our action, we can save the dashboard. And then by closing Pervasive Analytics, once you have refreshed your dashboard, then from the top five customers by receivables overdue dashboard, you've got the ability to right click and drill directly down into the customer 360 degree advanced dashboard for this corresponding customer. So this is another easy way to access your customer 360 degree view by linking the advanced dashboard as an action to an existing dashboard. Thank you for viewing our highlights for SAP Business One 9.2 patch level 4.